my lovelies. So I promised you guys another one today. So we're going to do this one. It's container store trip jewelry collection hypoglycemia question mark. This music is going to get me copyrighted. Morning, my friends. I hope you are all doing well, starting off a new vlog. You know what I'm doing. I don't even have to tell you. So, today is currently Friday. And Yara and I are going to be... So this is, um, look, it's the same, it's the same time as two years ago. Not long after her gastric, um, gastric sleeve. Uh, sorry, gastric bypass. January 19. Yep. Okay. So she's still using that stupid machine again, thinking that it's going to get rid of her double chin. Triple Heading chin. out to run some errands. So I thought I would take you all along. My skin is so dry. Like so dry i will say this stuff is really good like it's very hydrating i've been so consistent with this and i just feel like it's not doing anything <laughs> and i was like watching so many more reviews last night and like tutorials to make sure i'm doing it the right way i do i think because i have kind of a chubby face <laughs> i'm not having like huge results kind of a chubby face chubby is putting it politely you have the face the size of the fucking moon. We can see craters on it. Right away, because most people are like having the results that last for like six hours. And then they're like, and then it goes away. I'm like, wait, I'm not getting the results at all. Maybe I see a little bit when I use it. And I know it says it can be cumulative as well, but I was reading more about like the science of it and how it works and all that. Um, it's kind of cool. Like they both have to be on your skin because like it's shooting electricity back and forth and also apparently because i got the mini it has like way less power than the full size but like it can still work it just takes longer i don't know i was also heavily heavily looking into radio frequency i would love to know if you guys have any info on that you already have the fucking oh my god solution you already have the solution you did bariatric surgery that is your solution for this for this monstrosity here that's your solution this is not a solution this for this this is not a solution for this your bar bariatric surgery was the solution not this this is an easy way out if we could all just use this and be done with it it would be great but that's not how life works life isn't like that we don't we don't leave in a genie bottle and we don't blink and things happen you've already got the answer you just don't want to use it because it's too much hard work you'd rather do this and put your wishful thinking in this and hopefully you think that will work for you um like for skin tightening because i would love to use it on like my loose arm skin oh dear jesus nothing you use on your loose arm skin is going to work unless you cut it off you cannot tone fat it's a proven fact you cannot tone fat it might tone up you know a little bit because you'll have some muscle in there but it's not going to get rid of that why the fuck do you think i want to cut mine off you think i want to cut it off because i love surgery again my loose um neck skin it's just so much cheaper <laughs> to you don't have loose neck skin you have fat you have fat neck i'm sorry guys i'm just drinking you have a fat neck that's fat right there that's what that is it's not loose skin it's not loose at all it's quite taut in fact it's just a lot of it you are delusional fucking delusional she is i am a machine at home and do it it doesn't look like too complicated this is so fucking desperate. Watching her do this and hoping for results is so fucking desperate. It's so sad. And I've seen some like amazing results. So that could be a fun, you know, little, <laughs> a fun little challenge here as well that I could kind of. The challenge up. could be you fucking losing weight. That's what the challenge could be. 
guys along on that journey but i would love to hear if any of you guys have had uh any experience with at home radio frequency any tips i was looking at the she's calling this loose skin this is not loose nor saggy it's fat is what it is emily machine honestly like i'm not saying that to be cruel it is what it is doing it at home like the machine is like i think two or three hundred dollars but like it's like a thousand dollars a treatment and you have to do it multiple times i think it would be a fun <laughs> a fun new adventure with you guys but anywho just took a shower i am gonna put on a little bit of makeup today because i'm just feeling like i need to feel cute today i haven't worn makeup in a few days and honestly like by the third day without makeup i'm like the i feel fuck? like she's putting it on her eyebrow like i need to have a little moment for myself <laughs> God, stop it. Oh my god, that colour. She looks like a fucking clown. What the fuck is that colour? And why do her lips look like they've been lined? That is ridiculous. That colour is absolutely absurd. So fucking yellow. God, she uses so much makeup. Oh god, there it is. There is that fucking tongue. I hate it when she does that. It really reminds me of a baboon's asshole. It really does. She sticks her tongue out to make her lips do that. Fuck, that's annoying. She is annoying. Doesn't know how to start it because she's very tired. So, welcome to another vlog. Uh, today is very cloudy, overcast. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Come with us and shop <laughs> as we get some things and, and do some errands. And um, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy. I just can't go on. I can't go on. I don't know why. I am absolutely just toast. Like, I'm so tired. It's just painful. I can't, I can't function. <laughs> I can't. Ugh. Like, the winter is killing me. Winter is just not a vibe. Oh my God, is it going to snow? Is it going to snow? No, it's not. Every vlog, she has an issue with the weather. Mm -hmm. Oh, they got one little flurry. Just poof. Hopefully the container store will revive me because uh, I need to be revived. But the thing is, I have been trying to place this um, order on the container store for like a week and it will not go through. I called the bank. I don't know. It just won't go through. But um, Even when you call the bank? Yeah. They, they oh said that goodness. they... I called last night again and they were like, there's no more block. We took the block off for them. Um, she's like, maybe like remove your car, sign out and like try again. And I did and it still didn't work. No, so it's sketchy. I don't know. It's weird. But the container store is like a big company, so it shouldn't be like a problem. Right. So anyway, um, there's just a jewelry organizer I'm trying to buy here. It's like a stackable one, so at least we get some vlog content out of it. So <laughs> let's go, and we can organize our jewelry later too. Because honestly, I need to have my jewelry covered because I have it out right now, and it, it's kind of because you're a fucking idiot. You have it in the bathroom. Gets like a film over it over time. I think it needs to be like kind of kept away. Anyway, the motherland. All right, y'all. So I am just. I love these stores, but they are so fucking expensive. Ridiculously expensive. Like something like this, you could buy from one of the shops here, would be maybe, you know, three or four dollars. Whereas you walk into a place like this, and you're going to be paying about maybe $18, $20 for something like this here. Everything is just so expensive in stores like this. I'm just gonna kind of poke around until I find what I'm looking for. Uh, but these are cool shoe boxes. I didn't know that existed. So the shoe box was twenty-one dollars something, and that's for one fucking box. That's ridiculous. Lots of hangers. Lots of organization. Organization. That's beautiful English right there. Organization. That's what she's gonna teach her children. Which we love. She loves fucking Amazon. So why does she buy go to a place like this to buy stuff from? It's gonna rip her off blind. I like the texture of this. Oh my god, that is so fucking ugly. So ugly. I think she ended up buying them. Because in one of the vlogs that I put up and she was... Oh no, I think it was the... um. It was the vlog of the... Uh, the mudroom. Remember she had ones like this and she said she didn't like them because they go all floppy? So she must have come back and bought these. They uh, they look like they're twenty five ninety nine for one. Nice little woven. These are pretty. I don't think I necessarily need anything else, but you just never know what will pop out at you at the container store. Okay, here- Because you love to shop and you're obsessed with it. That's why. 
Here we go. This is perfect. So this is what I'm looking at, these stackers. And they some of them pull out, some of them lift up. Perfect for necklaces, rings. If so many That's not gonna be enough for her fucking jewelry. She needs two or three of those different inserts and stacks oh they have bigger ones too i'm kind of glad i came in person because some of them are bigger and i almost i like the texture of this i just wish it was lighter that's pretty too yeah we have a lot to look at here this music is going to get me copyrighted well your music's going to get me copyrighted so <laughs> pause there i've got a spit up yeah, I do. Mm. Oh my god, that is so fucking ugly. Especially this glass jewelry box. Seriously? <laughs> my god, seventeen ninety nine for that earring holder. I used to have them and we paid like five dollars for them when I was younger plastic um, earring holders Ugh. it's just got to fucking touch everything everything nag night oh my god market list <laughs> she actually fucking bought them she can't just write down what she needs on a piece of paper it has to be like this my camera oh my god so i'm actually laying down in the car right now yarman just went to get me water i can't even hold up my camera oh my god Whew. so something like the last week the same thing sorry this is a terrible angle i just like it is I can't. a fucking terrible angle you shouldn't be vlogging at all if you're feeling like that tell us later yeah i can't even hold this up um the last week, this has happened to me twice. Well, this is the second time, so I'm guessing it's like not a fluke. I actually just called my doctor and they're gonna call me back. Um, this is the second time it's happened to me where out of nowhere, like my hands like shaking and all of a sudden I'm like freezing, but sweating. I feel like I'm gonna faint. I feel really weak. Like I just like, all of a sudden I'm like, I feel like I'm gonna pass out. So um, it happened when we were in the container store and like, I just was like, I have to go in yard brought me to the car I'm like laying down I have my feet up on the dash and um, I can feel it coming down but like it happens so it comes on so fast and it's not like a pattern I can understand like it happens just out of could be her sugar dropping I don't think it would be going high uh, it could be dropping and that's probably why nowhere not like I've been so drinking wasn't used to the operation just yet all day I've eaten like it's so eaten, eaten. She she's against using the letter T in her words. Oh, eaten. Random. So I just called my doctor. I told them all the symptoms they're gonna have. Someone call me back. I don't know if like hypoglycemia or like it sounds like how my mom gets low blood sugar, which is interesting. I'm starting to feel a little bit better, but it's like a really scary feeling. Whew, let me know if you guys have had this experience after bypass. So we're home now. This shelf is a little high for vlogging, but that's okay. So I feel better now. It's like, it just lasts for like 20 minutes, you know? And then I fell asleep on the drive home. So I don't know. I called my doctor's office. They're gonna call me back. Well, the doctor's like assistant, medical assistant, I think she called herself. Um, she asked me some questions about it because my first thought too was like, is this dumping syndrome that everyone talks about? Dumping syndrome, ah. I didn't eat anything heavy, greasy, sugary before. I hadn't eaten for like three hours either. So it's like, it just didn't make sense. Yeah, I think it's a definitely a sugar issue. Her body's probably not used to, sorry, I shouldn't laugh, but her body's probably not used to going so long without food. So she's wondering, maybe I'm developing hypoglycemia. Uh, but anyway, the doctor's gonna call me back, so I'll keep y'all posted. But um, here is what I grabbed from Container Store. I did briefly show you guys. I was just doing my, like, you know, B-roll. I was gonna put some music over it. And then all of a sudden that's when I was like, I don't feel good. <laughs> so we only got to look at like half the store, but that's fine. Um, we grabbed a new, well, we don't have one, a dish drying mat. Cause we have like- <laughs> Ring a bell guys, dish drying mat. Look where she fucking buys it from. The most expensive store that will rip her off blind. You know, a dish. She's so dopey. Rack thing, but Yar's like, can we get a dish mat? <laughs> 
<laughs> you want a dish, dish mat instead of the dish rack? That's necessary. I can just wash and put things on it without wearing how, how on the How quickly till this becomes dirty as fuck? Yeah, exactly. That is a good point. I love the cream. I, I respect cream. that you it's got cream. Because like, they had a black and gray, and I'm like, you're not going to go for that. You know? He walks up to me, he's like, can we get this? I'm like, okay. Yeah. God, why even ask her? So we're getting this. Because he's the dishwasher. They make it look so nice and cozy. <laughs> they make it look like, oh, wash your dishes China. in the most beautiful way. And then I got, I got this. I love this. It's um, from Sugar Paper, and it's a market list. It has basically um, a grocery list pre-categorized, and then it also has a weekly meal plan because on our fridge now, I have just like an old... Um, magnetic dry erase board that I'm like constantly like trying to write what meals we have left, what I can concoct for dinner um, and like groceries. But I really liked that this one's categorized. It has a produce section, a meat and fish section, dairy, other grains and bread. And then it has the weekly meal plan on the side. I'm definitely gonna use this. I'm a huge, huge planner when it comes to food. I'm not someone who's very good at like winging dinners. Like I have a specific regime <laughs> where I always have like the correct amount of stuff. We also don't have a pantry in this house and like we have a really good amount of storage space but like she's so fucking all over the place. <laughs> so all over the place. She just doesn't know how to be an adult. It, it just comes so naturally where you got it you go shopping and you stock up stuff. You don't just buy one fucking onion like she does. You buy a few. Put them in a dark spot, cover them with a towel. They last for a while. And as you're cooking you've got onions there. You keep your garlic in the fridge, they last longer. She doesn't do any of that. She's got to go out and buy everything separately every time she wants to fucking cook something. Not really for food. Like, we have, like, these cabinets for food, and then all the rack that goes here for food. Boring. We're getting ahead. So, this bottom one, it can fit three pairs of sunglasses. I would say I have about three bottom layer. And we've got these two sections, this long one for necklaces. Oops, and then it opens up to this so it has this little section this will have like my go-to rings my go-to earrings my go-to necklaces maybe a bracelet or two but um, yeah these are really nice stackers clasp um but i think it's gonna be really great for organizing my jewelry i i've needed to organize it for way too long now so then we stopped and got yar some coffee He's never which is really weird because she has most of her jewelry in the bathroom now never had pete's everyone also got some cafe bustel okay pot i don't know about you guys but like by midday my skin feels so dry and like i've been taking some more steps to include hydrating products in my skincare but like the winter air is just dry it's dry also i've had this candle for a hot minute this bougie ass candle it's a diptyque candle it's dumb expensive probably won't repurchase um and i'm like i've had it for over a year dumb expensive you're the dumb one for buying it the candle's not dumb you're dumb i'm like i'm gonna light it I'm gonna light it. <laughs> Life is too short. Light your bougie candle. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just spray on a little Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist. I used to use this a long time ago. Okay, if you moisturize. That's all of my jewelry downstairs. From upstairs, that's one tray. Then I grabbed all of my necklaces and I hope to God I didn't tangle them too badly. I have them hanging. God, she looks like fucking Mr. T. Does anyone know who Mr. T is? If you're around my age, you'll know who Mr. T is. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of gold necklaces. Here are all of my necklaces. And then we have a bunch of like statement earrings in this thing. Um, oh God, they're ugly. I've got to see them again, hang on. No, I love colored. You guys know I love colored, but my earrings are quite pretty, I think. Oh my God. Ugly, 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 ugly. Eh, not bad. Oh, ugly. Ugly. Ugh, ugly reminds me of that headband she wore. Ugly. I don't think I like any of them. Maybe just that one. Oh, God, they're ugly. Um, all of a sudden, I'm thinking I don't have enough stacker. <laughs> but uh, I thought I'd at least show you guys as we organize. So I'm thinking the top layer is going to be the most important just because the other ones you have to like lift off to get to. So this one's right on top. Everything that's the most important should probably be, you know, in the top one. Also, I showed this really cozy fleece on Instagram yesterday. It's got like a raw hem. It's the softest fabric. It's from Abercrombie. It's so comfortable. I'm going to link it. She's sitting and watching. Sorry, look how she's sitting and showing us what she's doing, right? She's trying to advertise her fucking top she's wearing. She doesn't even sit back. 
She's pushed right against the desk. Yeah, she's trying to tell us that her top is wonderful and go and buy it. Because honestly, now that Abercrombie has more sizes, they're so <laughs> comfortable. Okay, so as I said, I feel like the most important pieces should go on top. So I've got my Miranda Fry uh, ring here. Oh my God, this will not stay up. How can I get this to stay up? Stay back. And then I've got this little Cartier dupe from Amazon. I have one real Cartier ring and then I bought other ones that are just knockoffs on Amazon. <laughs> Believe. Ring. Small. <laughs> like having things organized. They all look the fucking same. Or is it just me? They all look the same. If I can't see it, like I have some rings in, but it's not superstimized. I got this off of, I believe, an Instagram ad. But look how pretty it is with these baguette diamonds. <laughs> Hardly even fits in here. Dude, it doesn't even fit. <laughs> Just got to put it on the side. Another ring. I hate it when she says dude. And she's she's talking to us. <laughs> this really pretty chain one. I believe this one is from Miranda Fry. Society that I have one ring right here and I'm not gonna have it. Oh, oh so and I also, oh, this there. ring is like super That's tarnished. Okay. I've had it forever. It's from the Shop Poirier website. Oh. They have like really skinny. God, but, that is yeah, ugly. I've had it forever. It's very tarnished. Did I already show this one? I did. And then I have this teeny weeny pinky ring, which is just like so dainty and cute. Just like really. S <laughs> you can't even see it on your finger. Your skin's enveloping it all. Skinny gold. Oh my god, that's so perfect. Like they all fit in here perfectly. So now let's reassemble necklaces. You know, these. So I'm watching because I want to see how ugly her jewelry is. <laughs> these little ear cuffs. They're cute. I love little ear cuffs. All right. so I have a but her ear will eat that cuff up lot of those so I think maybe I'll just put those down with this random ring sorry if this is terribly boring but I guess I guess you don't have to stay if you're bored so a lot of this jewelry is kind of old and tarnished I'm kind of this is a good opportunity for me to like have my little elf this beautiful charm here I think oh yeah I hate that hide it this is the niangles that look just like that constant it's like the Cartier MF lock that's cute right. so I have a lot of small kind of dainty earrings I should I should just Bounce back and forth. I got these really pretty um, clover earrings on. Hate them. So common. Everyone has them now. Etsy. They look like. Um, Hate them. Van Mother of Pearl. Van Cleef. But I ain't got Van Cleef money. <laughs> so I. Yes, you do. <laughs> I think you got Van Cleef money. I think I'll put my day to day earrings in this top section. So um, I wear these a lot. I think these are from Miranda Fry. I think. So those, I got these off of an Instagram ad and I for the life of me cannot find the name, but these are really pretty. I get questions a lot of them. I'm so sorry I don't remember the name. I think it started with an M as well. I got these off of an Instagram ad. I showed recently these cute little double hoops. Yeah. Wear those a lot as well. And I also got these from the same site. These are so pretty. Oh God, I remember when she got them? That was just like a few vlogs ago. They are so ugly. They're like just little kind of buckle shape. Oh, oh they're horrible. Shaped. Old lady earrings. Oops. I am gonna keep these in the top because I was so excited. Oh, I hate them. <laughs> They're the worst. They're the worst of the whole lot. Fucking hate them. I did when I found these at Louis Vuitton. I think I got them in California, but I was so happy when I found them. I had been looking for them. I need to clean them. I actually just bought some like jewelry cleaning wipes, so I need to clean these, but I wanna keep these on top. Oh my God, they fit perfectly. Okay. <laughs> and then also a great dupe for those as well. They're a little bit different, but the same kind of vibe. My MF hoops. Oh, oh the other ones were Louis Vuitton. I think these are the ones I hate more. I don't know. They're both ugly. Even the Louis Vuitton ones are ugly. A little bit bigger and thinner, but they're so cute. Um, I think I'll put these in this. Oh, they fit perfectly in this section. Beautiful. These are another favorite pair of earrings. These are the- Oh my God. I swear to God, I remember old ladies wearing them. Like they were about 90 years old. You know, the old, you know, old wog ladies, the Italians, the Lebanese, Greek ladies. That's what they wear. <laughs> they are horrible. The Naomi hoops from. Oh my God, they're horrible. Miranda Fry, oh my God. Hey, oh my God, all right. Took the words out of my mouth. <laughs> Friggin' beautiful. Oh gosh. Talk about opposite in taste. Some of my favorite earrings. I went through a phase where I was wearing these every single day. These are definitely like. A day to day earring. I'll put all my sparkly ones here. <laughs> my straight up gold ones here. Oh, does anyone else just like love organizing? Like, this is so satisfying for me right now. I got these at Target. These are really cute hoops. They have like three hoops attached. These cute little, more classic huggies. Ugly. From Emma. I don't even know if they'll fit. 
these I went through a phase as well where like I wore these every day. <laughs> oh, that looks really cute with the stack. I should wear that more. Oh, so cute. It is fat. One that I gave Gabby, my best friend, with a half a heart. Yeah, I wonder where it is now. Probably in the rubbish. She moved and then went from my sister-in-law, who's one of my best friends. So I'm going to put those in the bracelet section. Oh, I also have these hoops from MF and they're so pretty. Kind of like elongated, thick. They are they're so, so pretty. So I definitely want to keep these close by me? as well. Like I totally forgot I had those. fucking horrendous. Or is that too much? Maybe you guys want to know. All sparkly. Put that with the little ones. Um, I don't remember if this is from Miranda Fry or not. I ordered this really pretty bracelet on Etsy oh. as well. And then here, I don't like that. Here is another Miranda Fry. Oh, you hate that. You guys are probably just thinking, oh, she's a hater because she's a hater. I'm not. If, I, if there's something nice, I will say I like it. I charm. And then we've got these really small huggies with like a little I'll see, I don't mind crystal them. on them. I am horrified about going through my necklaces. <laughs> I know I'm not gonna like any of those. Like I might have to shut the camera off <laughs> so I can focus on this and then um, I'll show you our final results. All right, we have made progress. It looks so nice. So I put my four favorite necklaces at the moment up here. My This is my collab with Miranda Fry, this beautiful Alexandra um, charm with the Irene chain yeah. and then my little Capricorn charm from MF as well. The Julia necklace, yeah. I just love then we got all of our charms, small earrings, huggies, and ear cups. Can we just look at these? They all fucking look the same. That looks the same as that, as that, as that. They all bloody look the same. And it looks like a fucking aura ring. Uffs. It looks like an aura, her aura ring. Honestly, these, that one, that one, that one, that one, look the same. She doesn't wear that one much, does she? The one that says Alex on it. I don't mind that one. I like that one. I don't mind that one. I um, don't mind those earrings. That's about it. All of our rings, hoops, beaded hoops. These hoops have like a really pretty kind of purpley nude gem from Target. Um, more hoops. <laughs> and then special to me. Right if I necklace simple. Um, I'm going to need to buy. And then these. Okay. And that's why it's important to put your most favorite pieces on. All right, guys, so we can say that that's it for this one. It's right at the end. Yes, we are rocking the unattractive. All right. Productive vlog. Oh, well, I'll be the judge of that. Productive vlog after vacation. Groceries, workout, cleaning, makeup brushes. Woohoo! Now you just got to clean um, your, your hair brushes that you use for your hair and your hair tools. Active pony. It's actually a little bun today. More about them later, but there will be a link down below if you guys want to get a special deal. Hello, you guys. We are back from our trip. I actually. I love those glasses. I think they are very funky. I don't think they suit her. I think they're still small to her for her face, but I do love them. I love that frame. I think they're quite, quite nice. Actually, just edited that vlog. I took a nice nap on the ride home. So we got back and I was like, she will not stop looking at herself. Look at her. Like, I need to do some sort of work. So I edited that, finished that up. Um, so hopefully you guys liked it. And I am now about to dive into my paint by numbers that I got at Target. I am just so excited to get started on a new one. I have 90 day fiance on my laptop. Oh. That, I, I don't want to hear that 90 day fiance. It's traumatized me. It's just so relaxing. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. All numbers. I'm going to have to put them, like the big, get through the paint. And then here. Okay, this is called the productive vlog after vacation. What the fuck? Our RP. Fucking paint by numbers. Right. Take it oh away. Oh my god, you have got to be fucking kidding me. She puts this in a productive vlog. Okay. You know, guys, when you wake up and you say, I've got to do that paint by numbers. Most of us say we've got to get up and go to work. She wakes up and says, I've got to do that paint by numbers. <laughs> so I've been able to test this for a few days and I am loving it. My skin feels so good. <laughs> 
is just like drinking up the hydration. Okay, she's trying to sell us something. Hydration. Um, yeah, like even if you're normally an oily person, if you're getting dry this time of year, don't be afraid to use hydrating products because the funny thing is like, I'm not even getting oily right now. <laughs> like I'm just so dry. Why are you laughing? It's kind of like oh, first chronic acid in it. It, the super it does dries her all over the face. I bet she's just trying and, to sell that. Um, I mean skincare, not foundation. <laughs> I just woke up. Uh, that's a great routine. And it has ageless Phyto AHA Radiance Face. Oh yeah, she's definitely shilling this. The ceramide one. And I'm literally going to take a walk, which is going to be great because H3 Podcast is back. I'm going to go pick those up. I need to order groceries, plan out dinners for the week. For the week. She's got to plan them for the week. Sure, my ass she does. And I have another Depop order to mail as well. So we got some things to do. To you had that thing work for you, Alexandra. Did you get rid of your chins? No. Today. There you go. She's writing them in that um, thing because she couldn't just use a plain piece of paper. She's got to write it on this uh, thing that she probably paid $10 for the pad. Fucking ridiculous. and now I'm gonna go take my walk you guys I just got back from my walk Yar I hate the way she says walk walk and <laughs> looks at me and goes are you okay <laughs> I guess my face was purple it's just red now it's windy I was so excited I'm like oh it's 30 degrees it may as well be summer and uh <laughs> the wind is brutal and I didn't wear my gloves so my face and my hands were numb, numb. But I, I persevered. This is your, this is your sign to persevere. Did you wear a jacket? Yeah, I wore, I wore my Fabletics puffer, so that kept me warm. But my hands and my face were just like. Yeah, you can't do that. You're a beanie, you bloody idiot. Painful. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't look at the wind. I usually look at the wind, but I just looked at the degree. Well, it's the feels like. Yeah, the matters. feels like section yeah. in your phone. Anyway, at least I got my my two miles in, and now I can. Uh, conquer the rest of the day our groceries just got delivered and on my walk i kept getting notifications that everything was like out of stock so i think i'm gonna have to do a whole foods run i'm gonna go get my package at my grandma's now hit whole foods hit the post office and hit the quan remember that dance hit the quan i don't know how it goes is she for real what the fuck is the quan goes we're like was that a TikTok dance? i don't know but that was really like bad should i edit that out <laughs> yeah you should it was bad Hit the quad. It, it makes us look so not woke. We're very, um... Sleep, we're not... We're, my walk was being able to listen to H3. Bread that she doesn't have for herself. Processed bacon. Pizza from chickpeas. Ugh. favorite thing ever because your girl loves to cook and this is just so convenient like truly it's the same day and she's fucking naked after complaining about how fucking cold she was is this the same day okay you guys i am about to make myself some lunch yeah it is she must have the heating on in the bloody house or something she's wearing that Fucking this is next to nothing she's wearing. And a big shout out to the sponsor of this portion of the oh, vlog, Butcher Box. Mm, that's not gonna happen. Sorry. No sponsoring here. Not interested. Like 10 out of 10, we highly recommend. Ground beef, baby. Of so of course, I, so yeah. I'm gonna go ahead. Pay for it. And just doing a bunch of work on the computer because we were gone for a few days so I just got a lot to catch up on and I'm doing some content planning for Valentine's Day so let me know if there's anything that you guys want to see and yes we are rocking the unattractive pony it's actually a little bun today so pretty cute not really so I actually just got a call from uh, my doctor's office about the whole hypoglycemia situation so I wanted to give you guys an update on that and so many of you guys were so helpful in the comments, so thank you. It seems like a lot of you guys who also had weight loss surgery ended up developing something like hypoglycemia. So I did see a lot of comments where people were like, it sounds- Fucking eat your food and swallow it before you talk. 
was like, you have COVID, like that's the symptom I had from COVID. Um, but I thought the same thing. I did two tests and they were negative um, and I didn't have any other symptoms. So, and I've heard of stuff like this happening after gastric bypass. So I was like, mm, like this sounds kind of like it's like a thing that can happen. So, um, and it's you also- hate it when she eats and then she's got to fucking clean her, her mouth with her tongue like that. It's disgusting. I also saw some comments of people saying it sounds like a panic attack. Um, I've had panic attacks for a few years now and they've never felt like that for me. I was like, this is just different. Like, this feels like I have low blood sugar. Like, because my mom's been type 1 diabetic forever. Like, I don't worry. Your blood sugar's right up there now with everything else. No, that's kind of how she feels when she gets low blood sugar. So, um, I just talked to my doctor and we went through, like, all of it, what had happened. Like, we dissected so many parts about it. And she thinks it's probably hypoglycemia. So she is sending into my pharmacy um, blood testing strips so I can test my blood sugar when it happens next, if it happens next. Maybe it will never happen again, I don't know. It's happened twice um, over the last, like what, like two weeks now? So it hasn't happened to me again yet. <laughs> Knock on wood, maybe it won't happen again. Um, but if it does, she said to test my blood sugar and if it's below 70 to let them know. She also thought it could be low blood pressure. So um, I don't know. That's, those are the two things that she is thinking that it is. And she made an appointment for me to come in to have my vitals checked next month as well. So looking like hypoglycemia, that's that's personally what I think it is. Um, but she said that is, you know, very common after the surgery. It happens a lot. Um, and a lot of you guys, like I said, a lot of you have that. And you said you just keep like a snack with you in your purse to help. Oh, well, there you go. That explains all her snacks everywhere. So <laughs> that's the update on that. I will definitely keep you guys posted, but we're having quite a productive day so far today. All right. We aren't seeing any of it. Where's the productiveness? The, your fucking paint by numbers. You guys, keeping the productivity vibes alive. I'm going to clean my makeup brushes. It is time. So this I don't know about you guys. I don't clean them like that. I clean them in the bloody sink. How do you guys clean them? I clean them on a bloody paper towel. I clean them on the sink with with a, this plastic thing that I bought from eBay. I think this is... Is this it? Yeah. yeah she's going to try and sell oh, Puriology. <laughs> Oh god, that face. If you guys enjoyed this vlog, subscribe so you don't miss what's oh next. Oh my god, boring as batshit. Fucking hell. And this is a productive vlog. <laughs> productive vlog. Fucking hell. All right. We've got two more left. Strike a pose, strike a pose, okay. and work. I love it. You guys love when I do hauls. I love it too. <laughs> I guess I love having a laugh with you guys, and I think I'll make you laugh. Uh, okay. Let's. I think this should still be. Oops. Let me just double check. Still should be in January. Yeah, January 29. Okay. Two years ago. Let me go up to here. Oh god, I remember that top is so fucking ugly. Okay. Oh she's doing the striker pose thing. You're not Madonna. This skirt! Then we've got little Cupid shooting his bow and arrow into a guys. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I do a lot of plus size for No. No. Can you just take your hands away from what you're trying to block us from seeing? The buttons are going to pop. Fashion content here. And today I am super excited because I gathered some really, really cute. Too tight. Valentine's Day outfit ideas for you guys. Everything is super affordable. I bought it all from Shein. So I will link it. Great company. It all below. I am starting off in these really cute Valentine's Day pajamas. And I think I have an outfit for every type of occasion, whether you're going out with your friends, chilling at home, going out. You can tell this time, because look at here. It's pulling. On a little date night, I got like every quality. She has been stepping up their quality, and I. She doesn't have. Look, I don't, you don't wear a bra when you put stuff like this on anyway, but. You've got to make sure, especially you know if you don't wear a bra with something like this, these are just going to pull. 
So she should, when she up, when she should upsize, she doesn't. I'm here for it. Here's what it looks like. It's a classic long kind of wide leg pajama pant. Um, I'm really loving the pops of black. So we yeah, it'd be nicer for fit you. We've got like a really pretty pale pink with up and down hearts, and then as I said, the little black details throughout. Little pocket here. But how perfect would this be for how probably most of us will be spending that? Popping here. Does she not see that? Fuck. Or does she think we're blind and we're not going to pick up on it? Valentine's Day on the couch. Whether you're alone with family, your partner, friends, Valentine's Day is going to be more special in these PJs. So um, I really like these. And you already know I'm going to have to take a picture for the gram in these. Very silky, very cozy. So this is very casual, but let's go ahead and step into some real outfits. You guys, I don't know. This might be tied for one of my favorite outfits. I love this outfit and I do have a... I don't mind the top. It's a no to the skirt. I don't like anything tucked in on her. Second top option as well, whether you want to go black or white. This skirt, this skirt talks to me. And we've never ever seen her wear that skirt either, by the way. Yeah, I just, oh, I love it. It is super comfy and stretchy. I'm wearing everything in a Shein 4X. And it would look nicer if that was not like tucked in, like she needs to have that on top of the skirt and that would look okay. For size reference, but this is so. 4X. Last time I looked for X on anything wasn't an 18. Cute. So it's kind of like a fuzzy Sherpa fabric. Oh, Hopefully you she loves a fucking Sherpa. You can really tell. Up oh God, it just turned me off the skirt. Yeah, it's ugly. I didn't realize it was Sherpa. Close the fabric of this. It honestly feels like, like a bath mat, but it's really. It feels like a bath mat. This is. Someone is trying to get you to buy a skirt and she's telling you that it feels like a bath mat. Well, that just sold it for me. I don't know about you guys. Let's go and buy one. <laughs> a bath mat. Really nice quality. Re fucking delusional. Really nice thick band at the top here. She's so fucking hopeless. She doesn't know how to describe anything. Again, great stretch. So with the top, I went ahead and paired. It feels like a bath mat. Who says that? This adorable collared little v-neck here. The sleeves are kind of interesting. Like, I don't know. What's so interesting about them? Yeah, they're fascinating. If they're make front page news. Yeah, they're really unique. They're different. Wow. Meant to be like a bell sleeve or if they're just like. Oh my God. She really doesn't know what she's talking about. Loose, I'm not sure. Um, they're just loose. They're a loose fit. That's all they are. Um, I would probably go ahead and just do that because it feels kind of weird with them like flopping around because they don't feel like a bell sleeve flopping around well, like when you don't wear a bra but i really do like this top the color with the v-neck is just so pretty side note shameless plug i am rocking my collab list okay. but i love this necklace what the outfit looks like i think it is oh just such a cute simple outfit like how cute would this be going out to lunch with your girls even going on a date night is she gonna tell us now you can dress it up and down? You could go ahead and throw on some really cute tights, some booties, some knee-high boots, a nice big scarf. I don't know, I feel like you could get away with layering a lot with this look, but I just think it's very chic and simple and pretty. But let me show you the other top option. All right, real quick, here is the other top option. Just That looks nice too, but I think it should be over that band this really cute ribbed white v-neck crop top really simple really casual i feel like you can totally get away with do you notice how she's only being filmed like that and not showing us what her non-existent kneecaps look like doing black or white on top of this even a pop of color this must be yum and filming her well she got one of those cameras that move from left to right when you would be beautiful like red red or pink with this skirt would be stunning i'm just such a neutral girl i love no shit you couldn't tell you couldn't tell and this fucking painting that's nothing non-existent painting white or black on top with this an oversized denim jacket you could even pair this look with how about you show us fucking lazy cow Sneakers, some cute little white tennis shoes would be so cute. All right, on to the next. All right, my vision for this. Oh, oh my God. My vision for that is in the garbage. 
Oh my god, that is bad. The pants are bad and the top is bad. Alpha is lunch with the girl. No. I wouldn't wear that <laughs> lunch with the girls. I fucking wouldn't wear that to bed. It is so ugly. Or like just kind of like a streetwear vibe. Oh my god. Yeah, homeless streetwear vibe, maybe. Oh my god, those pants are horrible. And so is that top. Maybe it's because she's not wearing a proper bra. She pulled him up a bit. Oh my god. God, she just got no fucking clue how to dress. Going out during these fucking people. I don't know. Is she sponsored by Sheen. During the day on V Day, I V Day love this outfit. I know I'm saying that about everything, but like truly, this is probably my favorite haul. Oh my god. Okay, first of all, look at this top. I am. <laughs> it's unfortunately I am. Come on. First and foremost, we've got lettuce cut hems. I hate lettuce cut hems. It just makes the thing look tacky, 10 times more tackier. So fun, so cute, kind of a baby crop style tee. And then we've got little Cupid shooting his bow and arrow into a heart, Valentine's Day. And then I went ahead and paired it with these wide leg trousers. Oh my God, they are so ugly. Do you think she'd even fucking put a pair of shoes on? Do you think she'd put a pair of shoes on? What the hell? Well, they're sweats, but I think these are so cute with the- They are horrible. White hearts going down the leg. So cute. No. I feel like wide leg sweats are super in style. Wide leg sweat. King I don't give a shit. If someone walked around with a garbage bag on their head because it was in style, you'd do the same thing. Wrong with pink and you can't go wrong with the hearts. Yes, you can. Very wrong. The whole outfit is wrong. And you're so lazy, at least put some fucking shoes on, Alexandra, seriously. Matching here with the white outline. I've never, anyone else I've watched, I've never seen them dress with bare feet. And hearts. Now, if it gets chilly, I think this is such a cute option with it. Okay, hear me out though. It's the perfect. She could have worn that jacket with the skirt. Because the skirt's black and white. That's way too short for her and way too small. Perfect length. <laughs> like, no, it's not the perfect length. It's too short for you. Makes you look more square. Everything just flows so well together. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. And the top underneath is disgusting. Heather, throw this on with some white Air Forces. I think. Why don't you put some Air Forces on? We're going to the movies on Valentine's Day. So like this, this is a vibe for our movie date for Valentine's Day. You might just see it in a vlog, but it's got. Dear God. Like kind of a corduroy style fabric. Oh, no, 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 no. And there's fucking Sherpa on the arms. Like that vibe with some Sherpa oh. details. It's all Sherpa on it. Oh, how wonderful. That's a selling point. <laughs> Let me go and buy 10. <laughs> Inside. Oh, God, it's so ugly. Which is pretty impressive. Like I thought it would just be on the outer lining, but all inside got it up in the collar got it on the sleeves and then we've got little it's incentive for me to go and buy it because you guys know how much i love super <laughs> i'll buy one in every color pockets silver buttons Here buttons hear me out the silver buttons match buttons the silver hardware on the pants i don't know i just said the way sinatra is looking at me you must think i'm insane hey my angel do you think mommy's crazy i love you I love you. <laughs> Funny you could see the way he's looking at me. It's going buttons and he just looked at me and I said buttons again he looked at me. I love those little, those little details. It all ties together so beautifully but super cute. I do have a pair of super ugly. The whole outfit is ugly. Of jeans if you want to go ahead. The jacket may be passable for someone else but not on you. Head and you know dress it up a little bit or maybe you just prefer jeans. So let me show you how that looks. She really must see something different in the mirror than what we see. She really has to. Look. Okay, so here is the jeans option. We've got these super cute, high-waisted, kind of like a mom jean. Jeans are not bad. Kind jeans of just a relaxed, jeans. super cute. So these are a great faux leather leggings. <laughs> they can be dressed up. They can. No, no to the leggings and no to the top. That makes you look like you're 110. You can be dressed down. You can wear them with a hoodie and sneakers, or you can wear them with some cute little heels or booties and a cute top like this. We had to go with a little bit of red for V Day. Oh. God, that top is ugly. It just reminds me of fat fashion. You guys know what I mean if I say that. If you've been overweight, you've been there. I've been there and it's just horrible. It's just, yeah, let's do this cut for them because they'll, they'll wear it and they'll like it. It's ugly.
day. But for a cute little dinner date, this is it. So, but it doesn't look bad on her. I just think it's ugly. We've got the cute little cross on top, kind of a baby doll fit. And these are like the best tops to wear out to dinner because they're flowy, they're comfy. You can have your dessert and still feel sexy. Every is she fucking serious? Everything here is stretchy, baby. Everything. But yeah, just a class. Yeah, including your gastric bypass is stretchy. Classic kind of. Uh, cleaning your fucking bed. Gastric bypass. Date night outfit. Oh, God, no. Jesus. Jesus, my eyeballs. And you can wear this top with jeans or other leggings or trousers as well. Very versatile. Thanks for that, Alexandra. I didn't know you could wear that top with other pants. A piece for your closet. All right, I see this as another ga Galentine's Day. And these words, these words, these ridiculous words that people make up. Galentine's Day. So fucking stupid. I forgot to call it Galentine's Day. I'm like, Valentine's with your girls. Galentine's. I personally stupid. We love Galentine's Day. So the real star of the show is something you can't see yet. It's my pants. It <gasps> oh my god. I was going to say the top looks nice. Hey, there. strike a pose. The pants look like fucking pajamas. Pose, strike a pose. No, 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 please don't strike any more poses, please, for the love of God. <laughs> oh God, I make myself laugh sometimes since I picture myself talking to you guys and I just know what you're thinking after I say what I say. <laughs> Those pants, like a pajama pants. And work and vogue. No, don't, don't vogue. Guys, these pants! I wasn't sure how- They were the- they, they're the star of the show, guys. How the pants were gonna be. I wasn't. I didn't know how the fabric would be or the fit. They are 10 out of 10. Oh my god. Oh my god, we are so on a different realm. It's like I live on a different planet than her. And let me say this, they feel like lounge pants. Yes, they look like lounge pants. They look like pajama pants. Buy them to lounge. No. No, they're ugly. If I'd buy them, I'd buy them to sleep in. Literally, you don't have to even wear these out. These. She's. That's exactly right. She's saying my, making my point for me. Or just even not just for Valentine's. They're so soft. She likes them because they fucking feel like pajama pants. The fabric is so good. Like this is the grand finale. Save. Oh my god, this is the grand finale. This this right here is the grand finale. Looks great like that, doesn't it? The best for last. Mm. It's these pants. And look at. Look at the cute little bell bottom flare. Like fucking pajamas. Super trendy right now. I feel no. I feel like I could buy these at Aerie or something. I think you could buy them at Kmart. And then, of course, in true Alex fashion, square neck, baby. I'm yeah, I like that. It's nice. I'm all about the square necks. I don't even really love this top. Of course you don't, because it fits you nice and it looks well. You're not going to like it because you have no fucking taste. With it, you know, I kind of envision more of like a cropped baby doll she envisioned more of a crop so she can show more of this see here and here she envisioned more of a crop she wants to show more of her slim figure here smock blouse mm. um but alas this fucking no taste whatsoever this is what we have no taste whatsoever you can't you can't help it you can't blame people who've been born with no taste and being brought up with no taste. But I don't know how because her mum dresses well. I am very happy with this top as well. This would look super cute with the jeans. A ton of these pieces could be mixed and matched with the little, uh, I think out of this whole- Oh my God, she's not gonna say she loves the pants. Video, these pants take it for me. Oh my God, shoot me now. Because they're so- Ugly? Comfortable. They literally feel like lounge pants yeah they look like fucking pajama pants you could definitely throw this on with a really cute oversized denim jacket this would look cute as well with that black jacket and with a pajama top a little cropped one but yeah guys this was our last outfit i am so in love with everything in this video i did know wednesday will you be fucking delusional man delusional was that the last one or was there one more okay there's one more all right this one is called this is this is something actually I've done this one before. I may have done this one before. What I wish I knew before having gastric bypass. Uh, let me start by speeding her up. I, I think I may have done this one, but we'll say anyway. Because I don't remember. I wasn't expecting from surgery, and this was like a huge epiphany I had the other day. 
a bit of video. So when I'm filming this, it's February 13th, and on the 16th, it'll be my three-month anniversary since having the surgery. I'm gonna See, three months anniversary since she's had the surgery. See, I like that makeup, and she's put it on very well. But it would look nicer on a drag queen. It doesn't suit her at all. It reminds me of drag makeup, and I love drag makeup. But it doesn't, I don't think that makeup suits her. Maybe the lipstick's too much with it, I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and base this mostly off of questions. I asked you guys on my Instagram to send me in your questions. So that's how we're gonna do this. And if I feel like there's anything else I want to elaborate on, I'll think of it as we go. I'll go ahead and preface this by saying it has been an amazing three months. This surgery has genuinely changed my life and... Wow. I wonder if she did this question and answer now. What would her answers all be? They'd be totally different. I'm feeling so, so good. And I don't know, I didn't know how it was gonna go. She's like, back to this now. This is what she looks like now. A big kind of scary thing to do. And I was kind of bracing myself for the worst. Like I was prepared for it to hurt and be really, really emotionally scary, physically painful. I don't know. It's kind of been emotionally scary for you because you break down every five seconds. Prepared myself for the worst. Um, but I did a one month update. So I would recommend watching that if you want like more initial reactions from right after the surgery. All right, so let's hop into the questions. Um, first up we have, was it really hard at transitioning to the amount of protein and new portion size? You know, it wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. Like you're meeting with your psychologist and your nutritionist so much before, you really do get a sense of preparedness and learning what to expect. Putting into action, of course, is different, but I kind of- You can talk to the psychologist all you want. It's never, ever going to prepare you for how this changes your life. It just doesn't. She's full of shit. Treat like the rules, like Bible. Just because I do get nervous. She treats the rules like Bible. She did here. She must have here. I believe that she did. I don't want to mess up my health or mess the surgery up or have any issues. The portion size you get used to is- She went downhill. Kind of weird at first, but when you're first recovering, you don't really even notice just because like you're on a liquid diet for a while and you're following these specific steps to work back to food from liquid. Hitting your protein goal- You were on a liquid diet for a week. You were on a liquid diet for a week. It's not for a while. Well, can be difficult, but I do kind of feel like once you get in the groove of a routine, and I'm a very big creature of habit, I eat the same things a lot, sneaking in some protein and flavored powder into certain things, or your smoothie or a protein shake, adding that in. I eat a lot of meat, I eat a lot of cheese, and I surprisingly find it pretty easy to hit my protein goal most days. My goal is in case you didn't realize, guys, she eats a lot of cheese, just putting it out there in case you don't know. 60 grams a day. Um, if I'm under it, I always try to get at least 45. Has it changed your period at all? You know what's crazy? Over the last year, my period was starting to become a little bit irregular. Surgery, from what I remember, it, it was a little delayed because of the surgery really taking everything to heart and like taking it seriously you'll be okay like taking calcium three times a day for the rest of my life and please no one listen to her just no one listen to her if you're gonna have gastric sleeve or gastric bypass a bariatric vitamin it's like you kind of just get used to it it gets into your routine and i think the and if you see this video and you think to yourself why is she saying that head over to her page now when we're in 2024 just have a look at it and you'll know why I said what I said. The point that I'm at right now, like being three months out almost, I'm really in a routine. I get up, I take my vitamins, I set a two hour timer for my first calcium. It's just life now. It just becomes part of your routine. At first it was kind of like, okay, this is a lot and this is like my life. Yeah, and the eating habits should be part of your routine as well. That's the main thing. Now like this is kind of annoying. But then like I said, you get used to it and it's just not that big of a deal. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's forever. My doctor told me it was forever, but I've also seen some people in their program say they didn't have to do the calcium three times a day forever. So. I don't know. Were you ever embarrassed to tell people in your life or work that you were getting it? I am. I was more scared of telling the thousands of you guys, to be honest. Be telling like, the people in my life, like my friends, my family, my husband, I wasn't as scared to tell. In fact, I, I have a very good support system and like I knew they would be supportive. Um, I was like, a little nervous because it almost just felt, there's almost like some stigma and shame around it. So it's like for a minute, I was like kind of, kind of ashamed. But overall, I knew they'd be supportive. They always just want what's best for me. I understand that. No, you're doing something to better your health. You shouldn't be ashamed. What you should be ashamed of is now nervous or embarrassed but honestly you have to take care of you and anyone who isn't super supportive should not be in your life where did you start i'm interested in getting it but i have no idea where to start so what i would recommend is calling your insurance um and i would ask them if they cover it um what the qualifications for that are with my insurance you just had to have a certain bmi i want to say it was 35 or higher but check with that in here with your insurance and then also they can give you a list of the doctors who are covered under your insurance because i didn't have to pay for mine every insurance is different but mine covered the whole procedure and i know a lot of them do if your bmi is over a certain amount so give them a call and they'll give you a list of doctors close to you um, with their phone numbers who take your insurance and i just wrote, i wrote down like the top five and i just started calling some people were booking out like further than others so you know don't get discouraged uh just keep calling. How are you feeling mentally after surgery? I feel alive again. I feel myself again. It's interesting because gaining the weight I gained, it's not just a physical weight, but it, it's like a weight emotionally, like on your heart. And I know if you've gained weight. So if she's, if she's like this now saying she feels okay, she must still think that she feels okay because this is exactly where she is now. You're overweight. You might understand that. In 2024. Feeling. And that's not to say that I didn't have a lot of good days, good days and bad days. I wasn't miserable. Every other part of my life felt amazing, but I definitely feel mentally more like myself now. And people in my life and on the internet have noticed that I have my glow back. I, I just feel like less weighed down and just more like alive again, if that makes sense. Are the food cravings less than before surgery? Is it hard eating so much less food? Um, you know what's funny? It kind of, it kind of is true that the food cravings are a little bit less. Um, but I want to say that's not from the surgery, but more for because I don't eat much junk food now. So yep. 
and that all changed. So I think because I'm not eating it, my body's not really craving it anymore. I still have cravings here and there, but definitely much less than before. Um, is it hard eating so much less food? It's interesting. <laughs> it's a weird feeling eating so much less because like I'll be eating and you know, I chew slow. I take small bites. I do all what I'm supposed to do because sometimes I can feel like your food gets stuck if you take too big of a bite or you don't chew it enough. But it's, it is weird to get full so quickly. Like I could probably eat like between a quarter to a third of what I used to eat. And when I'm full from that, like I'm full. Like I'm like, I feel like I just picked out of the buffet. So it's kind of, it's, it's kind of weird. Like sometimes it does feel like a mind fuck. This is something actually I wasn't expecting from surgery. And this was like a huge epiphany I had the other day. I associate feeling full with guilt. Because in the past, if I overate, I would feel so ashamed after. I would feel so bad. I'm like, you just messed up. You should feel so bad about yourself. And that, my friends, right there is why she shouldn't have been agreed for this fucking surgery. Because she was nowhere ready for it. She, f she feels guilt by feeling full. This is something they should have picked up on. Her psychologist should have picked up on this before she had the bloody thing done. Now you're going to have to like go work out extra hard or like drink a bunch of water. Like, you know, you feel bad. And now I get full really quickly from eating such a small portion and sometimes I'll think to myself like oh my god you just messed up like you just ate way too much like all those negative thoughts come rushing back to your head and you're like wait you just had a third of a chicken breast and some broccoli like let's relax it's just different and that that was a huge psychological moment for me which I'm definitely gonna talk about in therapy of how I associate fullness with feeling bad and guilt yeah that's something you should have discussed in therapy before your surgery not after and a shame so that was a very interesting mental thing that happened to me that I wasn't expecting are you disappointed that you haven't lost as much as most people okay <laughs> what I am only three months out what what? Are you guys crazy asking her that question? What? And I have my three month check-in in a couple days actually. Um, the last time I talked to them was after two months and I'm right on track in terms of what my doctor says. Losing 65 pounds, I've lost 65 pounds now because that's that was asked a bunch, how much have you lost? And I wanna talk about that too. Lost 65 in three months. That's over 20 pounds a month. That's a, that's a lot. Like that's not anything to be disappointed about. The whole thing is- Because you were absolutely huge, massive. Because you lose the amount over a year. I can't just drop a crazy number in three months. That's not healthy or like possible. I'm so happy with where I'm at. Like I am so thankful so far. I just feel lighter. Let me ask you this question now, Alexandra. Are you happy where you're at now? This is 2024. Feel free to answer in my questions, um, in my comment section. And ugh, like, I just feel like I can do more. I go upstairs and I don't feel like so winded. I, if I need to walk super far, I don't get like anxiety beforehand. I feel like I'm getting closer and closer to like being my best, happiest, healthiest self to get pregnant later this year. I yeah, it's not going to happen. You know, I still have, you know, nine months left to my year mark. And I know there's a lot more weight that I'm going to lose. So no. no. Oh, no, you didn't. I'm not disappointed. I'm extremely happy and I am right on track. Can you have sex yet? I know you said you have to wait a year after the surgery, so I'd love to hear more about that. Um, my doctor wants me to wait the year. I'm going to wait the year, but um, if that was your experience, I'd love to hear how that was because um, I just can't imagine being pregnant now because I can't really eat that much. So I would love to hear more if you guys want to comment about that. Are you maintaining your weight loss? How are your cravings? Um, I'm she can't imagine getting pregnant now because she can't eat much. So she's already anticipating eating more while being pregnant. I'm still continuing to lose weight. Like I said, it's only been three months. I think people maybe have a misconception that like this is it. It's not. <laughs> it's um, it is for you go on for you know about a year that's what the doctors say um, i already talked about the cravings but i did want to talk about it's been two years now this is exactly where you are again about plateaus weight loss plateaus after gastric bypass are super common um my sister-in-law it was so funny like i feel like stop comparing yourself to your sister-in-law everyone's journey is different huge connection to my sister-in-law she's like like a soul sister it's crazy um she had gastric bypass as well and she had a baby after gastric bypass so i have been really leaning on her throughout this time to ask questions and having her support has been incredible and she had messaged me like two weeks ago and was just like if you ever hit a plateau like especially around this time like don't let it discourage you it happens and she sent that out of nowhere we hadn't talked in like a couple weeks and it was just like exactly what i needed like god had sent me that the universe had sent me that from her um because i plateaued and i didn't lose anything for about 10 to 14 days i don't leave myself every day it's really toxic i don't recommend that you know after a week i hadn't lost anything and i'd had my period and i'm like well maybe it's just water retention or something and it's not that i want to get caught up on the number per se but i think at the end of the day let's be honest i had weight loss surgery the doctor tells you you're going to lose a certain amount and you're kind of, it's kind of scary thinking it's just going to stop especially and it did because you can't keep your mouth shut especially when you're doing everything right everything that you can taking care of yourself the way the doctor wants you to and i got a little freaked out i'm like is it over like is it going to stop and she told me she's like just keep doing what you're doing it's going to continue um and then i weighed myself and then all of a sudden it was another like two and a half pounds off and i was like oh okay uh, but it was like two weeks almost of just no weight loss so it happens don't let it discourage you it's going to happen there's going to be plateaus your body gets used to what you're doing it's used to your new calorie intake it happens it'll probably happen many more times over the next nine months but it passes so what emotion yeah your body gets used to it but you don't get used to it this came to the surface after surgery um i already addressed that another emotion though um was probably i've had a few moments where i was just like really stressed and i wanted to snack and i just wanted to like open a bag of Doritos and just eat it all. And it does kind of hit you that like, you can't really emotionally eat anymore. It's gonna make you feel sick. You can, but <laughs> you have. If you eat too much or you eat something heavy, it will make you feel sick. Like I've done that like once or twice. And I'm like, Ugh. certain things just don't make you feel good. Um, especially sugary or greasy foods. They just sit in your stomach kind of wrong. And that's not Did you hear what she just said guys? Sugary and greasy foods. So what is it that we say you're eating? What is it that we say you're eating when she gets with her mum to those carnivals? Look at all the shit she's eating.
not for everyone, but I believe it's for a lot of us. And you do kind of learn other ways to cope with stress or sadness. You haven't. No, you haven't. You may have thought you did, but you haven't. You do, you're kind of forced to. And I know it sounds a little creepy, but like it's kind of been a huge blessing for me. Like it's kind of shifted me to have to find something else for coping. And yep, that's why you're extensively shopping all the time. I'm hoping this is like a lifelong thing. And binge watching TV. I can continue to carry on of coping in a different way than overeating. The next question, how has your relationship with food changed? Kind of going off of that. Uh, I really do look more to food as fuel. And I've always heard people say that food is fuel. And I was like, oh my God, that's so annoying. <laughs> but I have kind of gotten into that mindset just because like my body's so different now. My stomach is different and like I need nutrients. Not anymore. Like I am still eating like maybe a thousand to twelve hundred calories a day and like I gotta get nutrients. I gotta get my nutrients in. And like I'm always focused on hitting my protein goal and like focus more on like eat your protein. Like you're supposed to eat your protein first. She is so fucking obsessed and always always has been obsessed with her fucking protein rather than getting the sugar out of her diet. She has so much sugar in her diet, it's ridiculous. Veggies and then a carb, like in that order. So I'm very focused on hitting all those targets and like making sure I'm taking care of my body because like I said, I am trying to get pregnant later this year in November, we'll start trying and I want to be the best I can at that point. I really do. How are you handling dropping clothing size so quickly with new clothes? That's another thing. Weight loss looks different on everyone. Like I, oh my God, so many comments. There's no way she's lost 60 pounds. She doesn't look like she's lost 60 pounds. Listen, <laughs> weight loss does not look the same on everyone. I have no reason to come on here and lie to you about how much I've lost. I'm trying to be authentic in this experience. <laughs> She says that with a straight face too, guys. She's trying to be authentic. And she doesn't come on here to lie to us. You couldn't lie straight in bed. And share with you guys. I've gotten so many comments about how I've inspired you to talk to your doctor and you've always wanted to do this and I've helped you find the courage and that is why I'm sharing this because this is vulnerable as well. I'm always going to- You've inspired me to make sure I never ever go to where I was. That's what the only thing you've inspired me to do. It's about like, how, how are you still this size if you've lost 60 pounds? How are you still wearing a size 2X if you've lost 60 pounds? Because this is just the way my body has lost 60 pounds. I probably lost some muscle, some fat, more here, more there. Some of my clothes still fit perfectly. Some of my clothes are way too big. I'm a size 18 in this store, still a size 20 in this store. It just is what it is. I don't know why people are so obsessed with size numbers and things like that. And that's something that you really- Because you lie and you're a liar. That's why. It's not that we're obsessed about size numbers. It's because we know you're lying not get caught up on in this journey you you really just have to put your health over numbers and like just take care of yourself the best you can but yeah like i said a lot of clothes still fit <laughs> and a lot of clothes don't i've sold some stuff on my depop i've donated a lot of clothing i've given some to family the good thing is i feel like a lot of plus size clothes can kind of adapt you know between some sizes you know things still look good if you lose or gain another 20 pounds it kind of just works i wear a lot of stretchy pants that still fit great like they did 65 pounds ago i try not to get caught up in people thinking that i'm lying about the number um but at the end of the day it's between me and my doctor and i'm just sharing with you guys what is going on are you hey what's going on with your doctor now when was the last time you've seen him opposed to skin loss surgery if you get to that point having my loose skin removed um i'm not opposed to it i am trying to help it the best i can with like dry brushing skin tightening lotions um trying to maintain muscle that's why protein's so important to keep muscle as you're losing weight like you can lose muscle so that's why they want you to have so much protein keep those muscles strong do some strength um if it got to that point if it was like uncomfortable like i'm not opposed to it i'm okay she's just never gonna get to that anyway you're not gonna get there alexandra so don't worry about it you won't need tummy tuck because you're not gonna lose that much all about just feeling good do, do what you need to do do you still feel hungry when you're eating do you feel satisfied quickly i do still get hungry and it's interesting because for the first like few weeks i didn't really have hunger cues but over time i started getting them back and like because i eat such a small amount i find myself eating like every few hours like i'll eat a small portion and like three hours later i'm like oh i'm a little hungry so i just kind of i almost just eat like small meals throughout the day because yeah i do i get satisfied very quickly you don't meant to do that you're not meant to eat small meals throughout the day you're just meant to have your breakfast lunch and dinner you can snack in between obviously it's fine but she doesn't know what moderation is. Uh, like I said, I eat about a quarter to a third of what I used to eat in most situations. And when I feel that fullness, I just have no desire to keep eating. Uh, and then I'll eat again a few hours whenever I get hungry. But yeah, I definitely still get hungry. <laughs> Everyone wants to know about any negative things that have happened since. And I feel like I've touched on all of them. Um, the only other thing is emotion. Really. I haven't had any issues physically. I'm very lucky. I didn't have any issues with like vomiting. Or other no, because all your issues are mental. Otherwise, like physically, it's been pretty darn smooth. Um, another thing that's kind of weird, it's like people are praising you on being smaller and losing weight and telling you how good you look. It does mess with you a little bit mentally because it makes you feel like you weren't enough before. And that's something that people didn't warn me about. And that was something I was mentally preparing myself for. And it's like such a double-edged sword because it's like, it's nice to hear that like people are happy for you and that you look good to them. And you know, obviously that's a positive, but then it does kind of make you think like, shit, was I ugly before? Was, it, was I like horrible before? I mean you were, you were massive, yep you just like like huh it's interesting it's it's really 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 important to stay focused on the health side of it and of course like flaunt yourself feel good i believe in feeling good at any size whatever you feel comfortable in your skin as is meant for you as long as you feel amazing that is what life is about and you guys know the biggest reason i did this was to be a mom <laughs> was to be the happiest and healthiest mama bear i could be and i'm so excited like to have kids i just i keep my eye focused. clearly you don't want it bad enough clearly 
focus on that like that's my focus like I want to be healthy for my kids I want to be healthy for my pregnancy for my family like I want to be around a long time like that's what I'm focused on I try not to focus on the looks aspect of it like I'll catch myself walking by and like looking at my body but I'm like I don't want to develop like body dysmorphia I just want to stay focused on the health and, I, and the way I feel because the more we I lose I just feel like just so much more like loose and <laughs> I don't know like my lungs feel better my heart feels better my sleep is better like all these physical things are better and I'm focused on those good feelings so I guess it was kind of long <laughs> um I was thinking maybe we could do another update at the six months and then maybe at, at the next point a year uh, let me know <laughs> and I do small updates on my TikTok and my Instagram so follow me there and let me know if you have any other questions in the comments I can answer them there but and now she ain't answering jack shit <laughs> all right my friends that's it for now I hope you enjoyed my um my take on her videos leave me your comments below as usual I will reply to you all I love reading your comments and you guys make me laugh there is one thing I want to say I would like to address oh excuse me now with her current situation we all have our own opinions about whether she's pregnant or not pregnant and I don't want any of my um, friends that here online that comment to go for anyone else who has a different opinion apart from theirs someone thinks she's pregnant and you don't believe that don't attack them it's not it's not nice it's not especially on my channel do not do that I don't like that someone has a different opinion to you that's fine you just skip over the comment or just say oh you know just say it in a nice way like oh I don't know about you but I, I, I don't think she is because blah 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 you don't have to get catty you don't have to get nasty you don't have to get bitchy um to anyone that's just i'm just putting it out there please don't be, be nasty to anyone we're all here together we're all here for the same reason and um we all have different you know different opinions fucking one day i think she is and the next day i think she isn't and the next day i think she is and today i think she is tomorrow i may think she isn't so who knows now i'm not talking about myself i'm talking about you guys amongst yourselves please be nice and do not attack anyone who has a different view from you okay thank you my friends and i'll see you in the next video bye for now